Afrobeast news. So guys, let's talk about the one and only Bonaboy Jodogo himself. So Bonaboy recently came out on social media, specifically Twitter, to react to the alleged thing rumor that have been going about, you know, as regards the Kubana nightclub incident. Anyway, guys, without more talk on my part, this is exactly what Bonaboy said via social media. He said this. Nigerian social media can say Bonaboy started Boko Haram. You know, go shock me. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much what Bonaboy is coming out here to say. Bonaboy is coming to imply that maybe the rumors going around on social media about him being involved in this shooting incident might all be fabricated. And guys, to be honest, <laughs> I'm going to say this, right? I don't believe Bona Boy. Now, I don't believe Bona Boy, and it's simple. The reason I don't believe Bona Boy is because we've seen the official police report. We've seen stories from people that attended the nine club or that were at the nine club when the events happened. And all of their stories have been consistent. Even at this moment right now, police is still heavy on the ninth club you know you like you have staff that are not returning to the ninth club because they don't want to be arrested so this whole shooting incident have actually brought a lot of attention to that ninth club right now especially you know i'm talking about like heavy police duty on that ninth club so but i'm coming on social media to act like this whole thing is fabricated i don't think it's true however where we agree with bonner boy is the fact that social media have actually escalated and blown it out of proportion. Social media has made it look like Bonaboy was arrested or Bonaboy did something worse than even what it seems. So that's why I would agree with Bonaboy. Anyway, with that said, let me recount the police reports. And you guys should note, like, this is the police reports from the victims of the situation. So those that we are shot and probably some eyewitness here and there, right? So according to the police reports, right, Bonaboy came to the ninth club, Kubana's ninth club. He came in with about five police officers, right? Um, about four mounted outside the um, ninth club while one got in with Bonaboy. So, and that one was in Mufti. Now, according to the reports, Bonaboy was at the VIP section with about three ladies and then the officer. Then Bonaboy spotted a girl most likely in the VIP session, and Bonaboy wanted to holler at her. So Bonaboy sent his security personnel, which is a guy on Mufti, his name was, I think, Ibrahim or something like that, to go holler at the girl. So this guy approached the girl and then discovered that the girl was married. So he went back to Bonaboy, but Bonaboy was persistent. At some point, Bonaboy decided to go holler at the girl himself. Now, when Bonaboy went there, that was when the whole thing escalated. Her boyfriend had to step, her, sorry, her husband had to step in and... For some reason, it got heated. Now, the funny thing about this whole report is that nobody's telling us why it got heated. Nobody's telling us what the husband did. Was the husband trying to fight? Was it like was it trying to pull out the weapon? Was it trying to do something to Bonner Boy? Nobody's telling us that. So all we've gotten is that it got heated, it got tense. Then the officer stepped in, and that was when he started discharging his weapon, and two people got shot. Now, my whole take on like on this is simple, right? Look, I'm going to blame two people for this whole thing, which is the police officer and then the wife. Now, one thing I believe is that the lady who was being hollered at, I think she might have given the impression that she would be willing to live with Bonaboy. Like, and that's my honest take, right? Because I feel there's no reason for the husband to have stepped in only if he felt insecure or he felt like Bonaboy was about to take his lady. Because if you're married and you know that your wife is, is down with you, you would be very, very much comfortable or confident if any guy approached your lady because you know that your lady will hold it down. But the fact that the guy had to step up, it means that the guy felt kind of intimidated or felt like, or felt like Bonaboy had a chance. And maybe the girl might have given Bonaboy the impression that he had a chance. If the girl had stood her ground and had made it clear, you know, to Bonner and whoever is coming in, most likely it wouldn't have gotten to the point where the guy is being shot. And I think all of this would have been avoided if the lady just, you know, maintained her ground. Simple as that. Anyway, as we got the side of the police officer, right? There's two things. Either the police officer acted in self-defense or he acted impulsively. And unfortunately, like, 
and this is for the officer right now. Fortunately, police in Nigeria don't have you know the best track record. We know how they act. These guys, they are like they are very power hungry. Whenever they are with their guns, they like they act irrationally. So looking at the history of police officers in Nigeria, it makes it look bad because what most people are thinking is that this officer might have just acted impulsively and decided to discharge when he wasn't supposed to. But guys, yeah, that's pretty much that for you guys. Now, what do you think about this particular situation that's going on right now? Bonner boy, the whole shit incident. And what do you think is to be blamed in this situation? And guys, in the meantime, don't forget guys to like and subscribe as well as turn on post notifications and stay tuned for more Afrobeach related entertainment and just coming at you. I'm out for now, guys. Peace.